Right, so what I have here is a Coke can. Okay? It's a normal Coke can, like you'd use for Coke. And there's a very tiny amount of water in, which helps this work better. But essentially, it's just full of air, just full of gas particles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Coke can into a flame and heat it up. Okay, so what's going to be happening to the metal as I heat this up? Hands up. Yeah. It's going to start to expand. Yeah, why does metal expand when we heat it? Because all the particles are vibrating and and they um, sort of like split apart. They... Fantastic, yeah. So all the particles are vibrating and they split apart. So they sort of push each other out of the way because they're vibrating. Okay. So what's happening in here is all of the gas particles we've got are doing a similar sort of thing. Okay. They are pushing each other apart and that means there is less space for each particle inside. So what's happening is then all the particles, or most of the particles, get pushed out of the Coke can. Okay. So then what we've got is a smaller number of particles. But because they've got more energy, because they're moving faster, they're enough to push against all of the particles on the outside, pushing it in. Because they're all a lot hotter. You know? They're moving faster, they've got more energy. So then what I'm going to do in a second is to plunge this Coke can into the water. Now what that should hopefully do is to take away, and you're getting rather excited, take away some of the energy from those particles, mean that they're not going to be as hot, and hopefully you should see a slightly subtle effect. Right, ready? It's pretty exciting. Now, oops, turn it off. That is one way to get rid of your empty Coke cans. Magnificent.